Hello. Today I'll talk about our finding a small keyboard is better for intermittent text entry on a pen-equipped tablet. My name is Jisung Gu from HCI Lab at KAIST. Youngbo Aramshim and Sombom Kim are co-authors and Kyok Lee is my advisor. When you use a tablet, intermittent text entry is required, but the keyboard is too large to tap type with a pen. It occludes large screen space and it takes long hand movement to type. And also, the frequent appearance and disappearance of a large keyboard during intermittent text entry is a cumbersome experience. The problems are mainly due to the large keyboard, which was designed for the hands. We speculated that when using a pen, the keyboard size can be much smaller because pen input is known to be more accurate than touch input. However, how small it can be has not been known yet. Also, we thought that the small keyboard would be more usable because the small keyboard can resolve usability problems with the large keyboard. In this work, we conducted two experiments to answer following questions. The first question was what is the best size of a virtual keyboard for tap typing with a pen? The second question was is the small keyboard more usable than conventional input techniques in intermittent text entry situation? Before getting to the point, I briefly explain the design of virtual keyboard we used in this study. This is a virtual keyboard design we used. Dimensions of each part were proportional. The actual dimensions of each part were determined by scaling the numbers by a scale factor. A key to be, enter key to be entered was highlighted in gray only when a pen contacts the keyboard. The nearest key from the lift-up position was entered. Yeah, we, we conducted experiment one to determine, determine the best size of a virtual keyboard for tap typing with a pen. The independent variable was key sizes and criteria were text entry performance, ta task load, and user preference. Text entry performance was collected while transcribing sentences from McKenzie and Skorov phrase set. Seven key sizes were selected. The minimum three millimeter key size was sufficiently small for a user to reach all the key buttons while resting palm on the screen. The maximum 30 millimeter key size was as large as a key button on a tablet in portrait mode. This is the thumbnail view of all the key sizes. We used within subject design with key size as an independent variable. In each condition, a task of three blocks was given. Each block consisted of 10 phrases. Each block took approximately three minutes and a one minute break was provided between each block. Seven male and seven female right-handed participants were recruited. We collected text entry performance, NASA TLX responses, and preference ranks of each condition. This is the result of the text entry speed. The keyboards with 6, 8, and 10 millimeter key size show the best text entry speed. In terms of error rates, no significant difference was found in both of corrected error rates and uncorrected error rates. In terms of task load, the keyboards with 6, 8, and 10 millimeter key size were the best. In terms of preference ranks, the keyboard with 5, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter were the best. Participants who least preferred the keyboard with 3 and 4 millimeter commented that the keys are too small to see. It takes a lot of effort and it causes more errors. Participants who least preferred the keyboard with 13 millimeter commented that it takes long hand movement to type. Participants who most preferred 5, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter commented that they had fewer usability pro problems above. From the result of the, the experiment one, we can conclude that 6, 8, and 10 millimeter are the best key sizes for tap typing with a pen. 
During the experiment one, we could observe and categorize six different postures based on the part of the hand which was used as a support. Little finger supported. Ulna border supported. Hypocenter eminence supported. Wrist supported. Elbow supported. And no support. Distributions of the postures across different key sizes are on the right side. We observed that the larger the key size of the keyboard, the fewer parts of the hand were used as a support. Also, we observed that some participants cannot anchor their hand on the screen from 8 or 10 millimeter key size, and they should change their posture. As a next step, we conducted experiment 2 to verify whether the keyboard with the best key size provides a better experience in intermittent text entry situation. Large keyboard, small keyboard, and handwriting were compared. The large keyboard is the Windows 10 standard keyboard in floating mode. It has 19 mm key size. It also it auto scrolls the screen contents when the keyboard blocks the text elements of interest. The small keyboard is the virtual keyboard with 6 mm key size. It moves and dis disappears only when a user manually handles it. It does not auto-scroll contents because we thought that it is unnecessary due to its small size. The handwriting keyboard is the Windows 10 inking keyboard in floating mode. It appears near the text cursor and auto-scrolls contents when it needed. First stroke gestures and supported uh, first stroke gestures are supported on writing area and special input keys are on the right side. These are appearances of each input techniques and their relative sizes. To simulate intermittent text entry situation, we designed a slide editing task. Original slides and printed instructions were given to participants. Participants were asked to edit slide in numbered sequence. We designed text entry and GUI manipulation to be altered during the task. This is a demonstration video of an instance of slide editing task using the large keyboard. The yellow numbered instructions on the left bottom corner is the current action. We prepared three instances of slide editing task. We use within subject design with input technique as an independent variable. For each condition, participants were asked to edit three slides we prepared repeatedly. Twelve right-handed participants were recruited. We collected completion time to compare efficiency. Also, we collected NASA TLX for task load, system usability scale, usefulness satisfaction, and ease of use questionnaire, and preference rank responses to examine usability in various aspects. This is the result of completion time across all input techniques. Handwriting was significantly slower than the others. In terms of task load, we cannot find significant differences. In terms of system usability scale, the small keyboard achieved acceptable usability score and the large keyboard achieved marginally acceptable usability score. In terms of USC questionnaire responses, uh, only ease of learning score shows significant differences. Both the small and the large keyboard were significantly easier to learn than handwriting. This graph shows the mean preference ranks. The preference rank of the small keyboard was significantly higher than the large keyboard. However, 
There was no significant difference found between handwriting and the others. Overall, handwriting was significantly slower than tap typing, and tap typing was significantly easier to learn. Preference difference between tap typing and handwriting was not significant. However, most, most participants perceived that recognition accuracy of handwriting or stroke gestures were, was poor. Also, most participants commented that they prefer tap typing because it is much more familiar to them and it does not require a learning process while they need to learn how to use stroke gestures before using handwriting. Interestingly, some participants perceived that the handwriting is faster than tap typing, although it was slow in fact. When comparing the small keyboard with the large keyboard, preference rank of the small keyboard was significantly higher than the large keyboard. Participants commented that they preferred the small keyboard because traveling distance of the hand is small and no screen transition is caused by auto-scroll when the keyboard appears or disappears. To sum up all the results, we can conclude that the small keyboard was better than conventional input methods for intermittent text entry when using a pen. In a pilot study, right before experiment two, we observed that participants concerned about accidental touch and tried to avoid touching the screen. So we need to enforce participants to anchor their hand on the screen in experiment two, because almost all of the participants in experiment one naturally anchor their hand on the screen when they using the small keyboard. In fact, the fear of the accidental touch is an everyday problem we confront when we using a pen. We hope that improvement of palm rejection algorithm or mechanism will resolve this problem soon. During this study, we did not consider statistical decoding. Also, we only consider when tablet is laid flat on the tablet a table to con control experimental factor. The very next step of this study would be to apply statistical decoding and to explore various settings when using a tablet, such as when holding a tablet with non-dominant hand. In summary, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter are the best key size for tap typing with a pen. Based on our observation, 6 millimeter is the largest key size which all the participants can anchor their hand on the tablet. And as the title of the paper suggested, a small keyboard is better for intermittent text entry on a pen equipped tablet. Thank you for your attention. Any questions from the audience? Yeah. Uh, Mohammed from Zarland University. Um, so, I, I, so in the virtual keyboard, it uh, shows up in a specific location, and then the user has to grab it or doesn't have to grab it, right? Yeah. Uh, generally, it does not. Uh, you see the small keyboard is on the right top corner at the start. That is just an initial setting. And we used, uh, uh, we make participants to pre practice the keyboard usage and it was on the comfortable location when they start the task. But it, it, it differed from one trial to another that some user grabbed it and some user left it as is, right? Or was it fixed on that position? Uh, yeah, but in fact that does not the critical problem for this because uh, yeah. I mean, it usually adds time grabbing the keyboard. Um, I, I'm, I'm asking that because on a fixed keyboard, you actually know the position and then you, you have to seek inside the keyboard. But when the keyboard is in an arbitrary around, location, yeah. then you have to move it and it differs from one user to another. Um, it would be interesting to investigate how the location of ah, the okay. keyboard. Uh, uh, in fact, our participants use the keyboard on uh, put their keyboard on they w where they wanted to put it on. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it differs from one user. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Another question here? Uh, 
Hello, Son Jung Kim from Alto University. So did you force users to tap, I mean, the type on the big, large keyboard by the pen? Yeah. So I think that in most cases, users will try a manual interaction with the pen and touch. So how the situation will be changed with that situation? Uh, in fact, the situation will be very different in real. Uh, in real life, you see, we use touch input and pen input simultaneously. Yeah, that's right. In this study, we only focused on the problem caused by the large keyboard, and we assumed that the small keyboard can be usable when using a pen. This, and uh, that would be the next step for us. <laughs> yeah, we cannot know that right now. Just another quick question there for Reese Mitwick Preferred Networks. So another popular way of, of typing, especially using a stylus on the keyboard, is, is swiping, right? And so I'm wondering if the optimal keyboard size when you swipe uh, typing, is it going to be the same? Do you, I don't know if you tried that yourself or you had a couple of participants uh, swipe? Or is that, again, future work? Yeah, I think uh, it would be much more smaller when we're using swipe keyboard. Uh, as uh, we conducted this study to as a first step of the uh, to explore the keyboard size of the pen using a pen when using a pen yeah so it will be <laughs> also the next step for yeah okay um, so if there are no more questions, uh, I just want to remind everyone that there are going to be bento boxes uh, available very soon. Um, and so let's thank all of our speakers.